Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, so a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about the whole Robin Crawford and Whitney Houston situation. So if you guys don't know, Robin Crawford just dropped her book and basically social media is going crazy. The book is called A Song For You, My Life With Whitney. And in that book, she's basically admitting to being Whitney Houston's lesbian lover. Now this rumor has been around for decades, okay? And I remember being in LA and people were telling me that Whitney Houston was definitely gay and that Robin was her girlfriend at one point in time. Now, if you guys do not know, I'm not surprised that Robin wrote this book because she's been talking about wanting to write a book since about 2013, and that was after Sissy, Whitney Houston's mother, wrote her book, and basically the National Enquirer was reporting that Sissy was throwing a lot of shots at Robin, and that's what made Robin want to come out and tell her side of the story. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this old article. Go ahead and check this out. So the National Enquirer reports... Sissy caught herself up in a shocking web of lies, a close source is revealed. She claimed that she didn't care whether Robin was gay, but she hated Robin for the rumors that she and Whitney were lovers. She was worried that the story would destroy her daughter's career. The source notes that Sissy was so concerned about Whitney's relationship with Robin, she did everything in her power to stop it and even pushed Whitney to pursue a romance with hip hop bad boy Bobby Brown to get away from Robin. In his 1998 book, Good Girl, Bad Girl, Co-author Kevin Amons, who dated Whitney Houston's former publicist Regina Brown, quotes Sissy as saying, it wasn't natural for two women to be so close. He goes on to allege that Sissy exploded at Robin for fighting with Whitney, who had just received a gift of 400 roses from Bobby Brown. The story does not appear in Sissy's book. Whitney and Robin drifted apart after the superstar singer married Bobby Brown in 1992 and throughout the years. Both women denied that they had a lesbian relationship. Meanwhile, Robin is said to have been livid over the book and concerned about her reputation. Robin doesn't want Sissy to have the final say. The source explained, now she may even write her own book to set history straight. So now in 2019, the book is out and she's also doing an interview. And so she sat down with Dateline and she spoke about her relationship with Whitney Houston. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys that clip. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Robin Crawford was by Whitney's side from the beginning, a trusted companion during her epic rise and heartbreaking fall. They were best friends, roommates as well. And rumors swirled for decades about whether they were also secretly lovers. Well, now Robin Crawford is finally answering everything in a new memoir. I watched her rise to the top of her game, and I felt compelled to share who that woman was behind all the fame. Robin Crawford was by Whitney's side every step of the way as rumors about them swirled. Everyone knows the, the tragic story of Whitney Houston. The superstar but this is the story that no one else knows except you why share that story now i never envisioned speaking publicly about my life and then i asked myself the question what would whitney want would she understand you know the time is now for the very first time crawford is now opening up publicly about their relationship in her new book a song for you we were intimate on many levels and all I can say is that it was very deep and we were very connected. They first met when Whitney was just shy of 17, Crawford says. Soon, they were inseparable. When did this, this friendship, this partnership, when did it turn into something more? Our friendship was, was a deep friendship. In the early part of that friendship, it was physical. Who knew about the romantic aspect of your relationship with her? I would say no one. It was, it was ours. Crawford says their physical intimacy stopped before Houston became a star. She said, I don't believe we should be physical anymore. The music business was a world that we were learning, and we didn't want anything to interfere with where she was going. Were you sad? Were you angry? Were you disappointed? I just felt 
that I wouldn't be losing much. I still loved her the same. And she loved me, and that was good enough. They remained best friends and housemates for years, Crawford says, and she became Houston's closest confidant and point person. A lot of folks will see this and, and they'll, they'll probably ask, how do I know she's not making all this up? I can't even, I can't even get into that. I mean, hmm. some people may feel that way. Hopefully they won't. Mm. What's the family say about that? Not much. Uh, the family has not responded to our request for, for comment. Um, but it, it was a, a fascinating conversation. It's been a couple of hours uh, with, with, with Robin Crawford. Did, did they remain close as Whitney's life was, you know, kind of coming to an end? No. No, you know? in fact, when Whitney died, they had uh, been estranged for a number of years. Um, she was Whitney's creative director. That was her last official right. position. Um, and when Bobby Brown came into the picture, uh, Robin was sort of, uh, forced out. She talks about that in the book as well, what led to that. She spends a fair amount of time talking about the addiction as well, the drug mm -hmm. addiction, how that started. Whitney Houston was using cocaine at the age of 14. Robin was using with her at, at some points on the road as well. Um, and when Bobby Brown came along, she says that didn't help uh, matters. But it's a fascinating read. Um, there's also some, some interesting nuggets in there about Eddie Murphy. You know, mm -hmm. Whitney Houston and Eddie Murphy dated for a while. And on her wedding day to Bobby Brown, the phone rings, and it's Eddie Murphy on the other end. Uh, so she talks a little bit about that conversation. As well. And Robin was there? Her oh, yeah. Oh, Robin was yeah. in the room helping Whitney get her wedding dress on. So we'll have much more of my conversation with Robin Crawford in a special Dateline hour. This so a lot of folks are really mixed on this on social media. Some people feel like, you know what, at the end of the day, Robin is being messy. She's looking for attention. Once the checks stop coming in, here comes all the tea being spilled. Other people feel like, you know what, at the end of the day, she has a right to tell her story, okay? So this is how I feel about this situation. Certain things, yes, you can take to the grave with you and nobody will be none the wiser. Just leave people guessing and, you know, move on with your life. But I do feel like, in a way, Robin does have the right to tell her story because of this. Sissy not only spoke about Robin in her book, okay? She said her, her point of view about how she felt about Robin and Whitney's, you know, friendship, relationship, situationship, whatever you want to call it. On top of that, Whitney Houston's brother and sister also had Robin, you know, her character in their documentary. And then we all remember the Bobby Brown story. Once again, Robin showed up in that documentary as well. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you make it spicy enough? Come on now. Just taste it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, hell to the no. Oh, hell to the no. Oh, hell to the no. It's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you right. Mm. Oh, boy, can't burn. Mm -hmm. Robert, what the hell are you doing? Mm. That was my plate. You just grab whatever you want and don't ask? <laughs> and I got a name, by the way. It ain't old boy. Oh, my God, Negro. Go cross somewhere else, all right? <laughs> Bitch, this is my house. You go somewhere else. Bobby, bo baby, come on now. She's, she's, she's just joking. No, no, I wasn't. You know, I think you got things messed up, Bobby. Because mm -hmm. this is Whitney's house, bought with Whitney's money. All you did was move No, in. you got things messed up. I'm her husband. What's mine is hers, and what's hers is mine. You ain't nothing but a damn guest. No. Oh, is that all I am? Stop it. I was here before you, and I will be here after you. Robin. You got five seconds to get out of my face. Are we about to throw down in here? And if you think I'm playing, try me. Hmm. You just gonna let him talk to me like that? Well, there's your answer. Now get your ass out of my house. So Robin's story has been in all types of documentaries and books by other people close to the Houstons. So why can the person who's actually involved in the situation not tell her story? It seems like everybody else had no problem spilling their tea and insinuating certain things about Robin and Whitney's relationship. So then why should she be penalized or why are people giving her the side eye for basically saying, you know what, now I'm going to tell my story because everybody else seems to have told it and they told it wrong. You know, so this entire situation is crazy. Do 
I feel like this is gonna ruin Whitney Houston's legacy? Not at all. Whitney Houston is still one of the greatest voices to ever sing. So I don't think that's gonna tarnish her legacy whatsoever. But I understand why they kept it a secret. It was a different time and place back then. People were not into the whole gay thing, lesbian culture. You know, people had to, especially in Hollywood, you had to put on a persona. And that persona was straight and that's it. You know, 2019 is a whole different can of worms, okay? Things are more open, things are more accepting nowadays but back then it was not like that so I definitely understand that and I can definitely see the fact that you know they were close but she had to you know put out a certain image so that might be why she rushed to marry Bobby Brown and have a child with him so that way she could quell those rumors because like I said for years people had always linked Whitney Houston and Robin together so this entire situation is crazy I have not read the book do you guys plan on getting the book do you guys plan on reading it how do you all feel about Robin coming out and spilling the tea do you feel like she's wrong and she should have taken this to the grave with her or do you feel like you know what everybody else has been spilling their tea and you know putting her name in documentaries and everything else so then why should she not be able to tell her story so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping don't forget to hit the thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and most importantly don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces